Chinese New Year race day. Stand by for a start. Gates are open and they're off and racing. And Lurpanash taking a little bit of time to muster, along with Smart Baby, Heroic Guru, full of chances, are both eased back. Positively High came out running, and he's sharing the lead initially with also Family Leader, and Happy Hour jumped nicely for Rispoli off the inside, but Positively High, he's desperate to find the front, and he charges forward from a widish barrier and has a two-length advantage now as they run to the 1,300-metre point over Happy Hour second. Now, Red Elise was back as the tempo eases. He quickly whips around to sit outside the leader. So 1,200 metres out. Positively high now, a neck on Red Elise, a little keen second. Happy Hour third on the outside of Smart Baby, who's picked up ground nearer the inside. Somehow Family Lead has been caught three deep in the process, with no cover on the outside of Sparkling Sword, Heroic Guru. Lurpanash and full of chances is now at the rear. Half a dozen from the speed towards the 800 and positively high, stretching by three quarters to Red Elise second. Two back, Happy Hour, every conceivable chance outside of Smart Baby. Family Leader's the one that's done it tough in the first. Three deep, no cover. Sparkling Sword, Heroic Guru, Lurpanash about to peel wide as they come to the corner. Full of chances, last of all, with plenty to do. Positively high, urged at now as they swing in. Likewise, Red Elise, Happy Hour's about to join in. Smart Baby's angling off the rail. Lurpanash for White is starting to wind up down the middle as Red Elise kicked away, 250 out. Put two lengths on, positively high, Smart Baby. Then Lurpanash, Heroic Guru, Happy Hour's dropped out. But it's Red Elise going clear. Two and a half, Smart Baby, Lurpanash, full of chances, Heroic Guru, and it's Sylvester de Souza on horse two in the first. Red Elise wins. Red Elise first. It's a photo for the miners. Full of chances, really sprouted wings late. Lurpanash, Heroic Guru, and Smart Baby. Four of them hit the line, but primarily Heroic Guru and full of chances to fight out that photo for second and third. Then a gap away then to Family Leader who did cover ground and uh, it took its toll towards the end, followed by Sparkling Sword, positively high and happy hour near the rear after the first. So Red Elise charging clear to win it easily in the end, much to the delight of uh, the roaring crowd. There's one a bit edgy, sure, Supreme White are out. They're off and racing now. It was a patchy start. Management star missed it a couple. Laugh out loud, a bit slow with Young Glory. Money winners gone back. Away quickly, Jumbo Buzz. He'll power through from the inside gate. Lead initially. Sure, Supreme rolls up to join. Fortune Way got away nicely third at this point from Starlet, who's three deep. Marrera got the favourite away well. He's running fifth on the rail, Savvy Seven. Two back romantic journey settling on the outside of management star who's recovered to midfield after a slow getaway. Three further back Benito outside of Young Glory. Money winners settling second last on the outside of Laugh Out Loud. Jumbo Bus makes the run through the bend at the 850. A half to length to Shaw Supreme. Fortune Way third inside of Starlet. Two back then to Savvy Seven who's off the rail now and management star took his old spot. Romantic journey a length and a half further back from Young Glory Benito, laugh out loud. Money winner sees nothing but backsides as they run to the 500 metres, where Jumbo Bus corners in and neck to shore supreme. Starlet now emerges out three wide. Fortune Way, Savvy Sevens coming four wide, then Management Star. Further back, Young Glory, Benito to the outside. Then came Money Winner, Laugh Out Louds making headway between the uh, horses. Romantic Journey as Savvy Sevens swept to the lead past Jumbo Bus, Shaw Supreme. Management Star and then Young Glory, Laugh Out Loud. Savvy Sevens clear. Management Star's digging in late. He's coming to roll the favourite and went straight on by Management Star to beat Savvy Seven. Young Glory and Laugh Out Loud. Then Money Winner, Jumbo Bus Benito, Fortune Way, Shaw Supreme, Starlet and Romantic Journey at the rear. Good effort. He was clearly the slowest to move, Management Star. And used up a little bit in the first four or five hundred metres to get a midfield position. And then he's kicked again when it mattered and overhauled Savvy Seven with Young Glory 
third. Laugh Out Loud was making headway between horses. He was held up at the 250. Third of the day, 1400, class five, the red packet handicap, natural flair favourite. They're off and racing. Sincere Horse was slow, as was Power Man. There's not a great deal of pace from Sunny Orient. Triumphant Light won the start deeper out. Natural Flair racing handy and massive power. Benso pushing hard. He wants the lead. And he's going to charge across with Scarborough Fair hunting through nearer the inside. And now Ototo. It's a scramble early on for the lead with Triumphant Light very wide pressing on from massive power. Scarborough Fair, Ototo let that pair roll on. Natural Flair has settled one out and three back on the outside of Fire and Gold. A length Smart Rocket three deep Sunny Orient. Two further back to Power Man from Best Gift. There's one even caught wider and two back last of all is never better. Triumphant Light had to work, but he's in full flight charging towards the 500. Two clear massive power. Ototo, Scarborough Fair, Fire and Gold, Natural Flair. Sunny Orient, Smart Rocket, Sincere Horse has been wide for a fair portion. Best Gift, Power Man and never better. Triumphant Light, 300 metres out. Now joined by Scarborough Fair and Ototo. Natural Flair winding up with Smart Rocket. Sunny Orient had to change course. He's building revs. It's Scarborough Fair, Natural Flair, and Smart Rocket. They get to a Toto. Smart Rocket's going home best from Natural Flair. Never better late on the scene. Smart Rocket. Smart Rocket over. Never better Natural Flair. Sunny Orient had a checkered passage in the stretch. Followed by Best Gift. They overhauled the leaders the last hundred. Scarborough Fair, O Toto. Fire and Gold, Triumphant Light, then Sincere Horse, who was back and wide for the majority of the race. Power Man beat one home, a distant last, massive power. One of the class droppers, Smart Rocket, Never Better, Natural Flair, Sunny Orient, Scarborough Fair. That's the order. Race three, number three, Chad Schofield riding for John Moore. Race four, Chartin ready. And racing now. And slow to get going, Mr. McGellan. In fact, the jockey nearly came completely off Alexi Bedell. He was side saddle there for a while. He's regained his composure, but he was slow to move. Bray Baby away quickly. Blink of a second's got pace. Perfect pair not far away with Gerd on helmet. Regency Darling. And then Happy Alumni behind the speed. High Rev and Strathbarra three deep midfield from Wicker. A long gap back then to Joy Master. Two to Mr. McGellan. And Levante three lengths last of all. Brave Baby found the rail and the lead. 600 metres to Tramp. A Regency Darling rolls up to join. Gerd on helmet was there, but he's losing ground. Perfect pair. Blink of a second the rail. Strathbarra wide. High Rev coming wide as well and happy alumni with wicker down nearer the rail it's brave baby and regency darling 300 meters out they're clear perfect pair closing in blink of a second happy alumni looking for more room as brave baby kicked away happy alumni perfect pair regency darling and high rev they've got to get the brave baby in full flight brave baby happy alumni's out late but it's too late and brave baby wins a half to Happy Alumni, Perfect Pair, High Rev. Then a gap, Regency Darling, and Blink of a Second from Wicker. Joy Master, Mr. McGellan ran quite OK, all considered. Good job there by Alexi Bedell to stay in the race. Gerd on helmet, Levante never travelled. He was at the end with Strathbarra. Matthew Poon. Out in front making play on the Tony Cruz trained Brave Baby. Number 11. Over Happy Alumni who's clearly got an engine. Solar YY drawn three. Racing now. And Solar YY stepped away reasonably well. Out wide, Luna Zeph has got superior pace and Voyage Star carving over from wider out. It's Voyage Star heading off Luna Zephyr. Win-win 33 racing handy. Solar YY sitting in on the inside of Red Horse. 
Two further back to Bulb Elite, Empire of Patch. Lucky Lucky's caught wide. Lertewa's even wider from Brave Command. What a legend. And Yi Chong Lucky settles at the rear. The leaders scampered clear. Approaching the 600, Voyage Star, two and a half to win, win 33. Luna Zephyr third. Solar YY favourite tracks him about to angle off the rail. Then Red Horse Le Terroir. What a legend Empire of Patch and Bulb Elite. Voyage Star shows them a clean pair. 3.50 out. He's two and a half clear. Luna Zephyr. Solar YY's got to start lifting. He's gradually picking up speed as Voyage Star starts to tire inside the furlong. Luna Zephyr. Solar YY. Red Horse and Empire of Patch joining in. It's Luna Zephyr. So Solar YY, Luna Zephyr, Solar YY, tighty. Luna Zephyr or Solar YY. I'll stick my head out and say Solar YY got his head down to snatch it from Luna Zephyr. There's a pimple in it. Red Horse runs third, just ahead of a tiring Voyage Star. What a legend. Brave Command next. Le Terroir, Bulb Elite, win win 33. Empire of Patch, Lucky Lucky, and Yi Chong Lucky. Might have just done so too, Solar YY. Over Luna Zephyr and Red Horse will get third over a bold run from Voyage Star. Set to go, 1400, Sha Tin, racing now, slow to get moving, was Bingo Hero, Regency Gem, Shaw win, fast away, Carefree Prince, faultless from the gates and he leads early, Supreme Witness going to challenge, deeper out Mr Darth Vega jumped nicely, he eases back into fourth but he's three deep from Marvel Joy, win win the rail, Pearl Champion's gone forward from his wide gate, Flame Lily midfield but he's deep, Shaw wins Splendor and Gold wedge between runners from Regency Gem. Beauty Spirit is fighting with Pert and he's in the second part of the field and he's deep. Fourth last outside of Bingo Hero Test the Stars. Spring win for Harley is last. Carefree Prince is the lamp lighter striding to the 650. Three quarters Supreme Witness. Pearl Champion. Win wins had the gun run for mine. Marvel Joy. Regency Gems very deep inside of him. Mr. Darth Vega. Splendor and Gold looking to get into clear galloping room from Shaw Wind Flame Lily. Bingo Hero. Beauty Spirits the widest unleashing as they run for the judge. 350 out. Carefree Prince too clear. Supreme Witness a spent force. Win win emerging. Mr. Darth Vega and now Splendor and Gold starting to hit top gear. Carefree Prince 100 out. Joined by Splendor Splendor and Gold win win. They sweep to the lead. Win win. Splendor and Gold. Splendor and Gold win win. Splendor and Gold does best. From win win. Carefree Prince just held on to third, I fancy. From Bingo Hero, Flame Lily, and Pearl Champion. Then Mr. Darth Vega, Supreme Witness, Marvel Joy. Spring win. Shore win. Test the stars. Beauty Spirit emerged momentarily towards the tail at the end with Regency Gem. 3, 4, 8. 14 and 7. Well, he put in a cracker of a run first up, this guy. Splendor and Gold coming to the corner. Rispoli had him positioned well. Drawn 11, full of beauty, set to go. Off and racing and full of beauty, pinged out of the gates. He's got good speed. So does Little E, super down on the rail. Blitzing's charging forward. Sparkling Dragon. And also real busy showing some speed and full of beauty pressed on, but he didn't have the pace to cross it. He's caught very deep with Honest Way inside of him. Fantastic eight, Dal Radian. Two back then to first responder. Followed then by the one top score and Mr. Monty's last. E-Super strides too clear. 600 metres to run from Sparkling Dragon and Real Busy is third. Fourth is Blitzing and he's wide. He's got the favourite full of beauty on his back. He's going to corner in five deep. Dalradian on his way. Fantastic eight. Top score. 
the one and Mr. Monty's tailed off. The leader is Sparkling Dragon taking over from E Super. Full of beauties winding up. Blitzing still battling on. Fantastic eight and on its way. Full of beauty hanging in a little bit, but he's clawing back the margin on Sparkling Dragon. On its way is closing with Blitzing. Full of beauty powers to the lead now from Sparkling Dragon. On its way. He's good. Very good, full of beauty. Three from three. Honest Way may be second over Sparkling Dragon and Blitzing. Then top score from the back, Fantastic AD Super. First responder, the one. Real busy dropped off with Dal Radiant and Mr. Monty. Seven and a photo. Ten and five. 7 10 5 blitzing fourth fantastic eight well it did look tougher today up in class a wide barrier but he still coped with it really well four five deep turning in and they're about to witness the feature of the day all set ready and they're racing and a little slow to move was more than lucky Regency Bobo, who's been back for everything, sprung out of the gates. He's getting pressure from California Whip as they stride through the first couple of hundred metres. Jolly Banner, Matthew Poon's got him into a forward position third today. Two lengths further back then to more than lucky from what else but you. And Solar Patch, who's first up for seven months, is settling at the rear. Seven lengths from the speed, headed now by Regency Bobo. Mo allows him to take control down the side, nearing the 800 metres. Regency Bobo, a length and three quarters to California Whip. They're two on Jolly Banner, third inside of More Than Lucky. A length and three quarters to What Else But You. And a neck away solar patch at the rear. 13-7, 22-2. They are the splits as they run up towards the 450 metre point where the leader, Regency Bobo, cuddled at the moment. Three quarters, California whip. Here's the challenges emerging in the middle. More than lucky, Jolly Banner, Solar Patch. What else but use? Hunting nearer the rail. Regency Bobo to the roar of this massive crowd still has it. But what else but you? Charges at him. Solar Patch wider out. No more than lucky today. California whip and Jolly Banner. But what else but use? Off with the Chinese New Year Cup. Roaring clear. What else but you? Two and a half eased up over Solar Patch. Regency Bobo, more than lucky, California Whip and Jolly Banner. Joe Marrera has put a smile on the backers of the favourite in our feature today with what else but you. Solar Patch, great return. John Moore, I think, will give the thumbs up signal provided he pulls up well with regards to a potential Classic Cup and Derby now. Regency Bobo ran well. More than lucky, a little slow to move, and he was on the back foot from that stage. California whip. He weakened out. Fat Choi handicap set for a start. Racing now, and game changes began beautifully off the inside, but thrilled has got a tremendous amount of early gate speed, and he crosses and leads on his ear. Within 100, he's two in front. Superwise travelling forward. 80-80 likewise. Prance of Dragon was there, but he eases back to the outside of Game Changers. Two and a half further back, Goko Key Witness. Uh, getting well back is Earth Trilogy. And he's deep from Cool Team, God of Dragon, Mr. Genuine. Hero Time, a distant last. Striding to the 600, and Thrill's been pestered by 80-80, and they stride in unison. Superwise on their back outside of Game Changers. Prance Dragon's running fifth. He's peeling three and four deep as they corner. Key Witness is trying to get onto his back and then Goko from Cool Team Earth Trilogy and Mr Genuine thrilled beat off the challenge from 8080 he's gone Game Changers got out in the process Key Witness Prance Dragon Superwise thrilled keeps finding coming at him Game Changers Key Witness and Prance Dragon four across the track what a great finish Key Witness Game Changers Key Witness Game Changers and Prance Dragon surged late Three of them together have hit the line. They overhauled Thrilled. Mr. Genuine close up with Cool Team and Earth Trilogy. And then Goko Superwise, God of Dragon. 
Hero time an 80-80 weakened out last in. Photo is about all I can say. Uh, maybe key witness over Prance Dragon, game changes, probably just dips out. There's, it's hard to line them up. They're quite wide apart too. It all happened so quickly. Race 10. Favourites drawn three. 1,400 metres, they're off, and he bounced beautifully, Picken. There was only one quicker than him in the early stages, and that is Lucky Dollar, and he's going to fire to the lead, Lucky Dollar. Picken certainly, Moreira wants to have him handy to the speed. He has pushed hard in the first two to 300. Likewise, Flying Tiger Hero settling third, and Young Legend went fourth. Uh, then came Beauty Spirit, the rail from Dragon Commander, Last Kingdom, Magic Legend, Fearless Fire, Voyage King. Fourth last, good for you, perfect buddy. Two to splendid timing, two to roundabout last. 800 metres out, and the leader is now Young Legend, and he takes over for Teton and strides two clear. Lucky Dollar second, pick and third outside of Flying Tiger Hero. Then Beauty Spirit, Dragon Commander, Deep Magic Legend, Last Kingdom. Fearless Fire's in the second part of the field as they swing in from good for you splendid timing voyage king perfect buddy and roundabout young legend kick for home two in front but Pickett has him in sight lucky dollar flying tiger hero beauty spirits winding up with some gusto Pickett took the lead from young legend beauty spirits chasing not much else doing from the back Pickett broke away from beauty spirit young legend roundabouts on the outside rail but Pickett clear it's a treble for size of Marrera Pickett over beauty Spirit, big run roundabout to snatch third, followed by Good For You, Young Legend, Magic Legend, Voyage King, Last Kingdom, Splendid Timing, Flying Tiger Hero faded out, Perfect Buddy, Fearless Fire, Dragon Commander, Beat One Home, the early speedster, Lucky Dollar. Picking from Beauty Spirit. Paul Lally is tipped roundabout as a value runner. Last to third. Good run. 14-3-8. Fourth young legend who rolled forward from the wide gate just ahead of Good For You. Last Kingdom amongst quite a few others next in line. But eight starts now, three wins. Starter has them. Racing. Amazing Satchmo, one of the slowest to get moving with Ho Ho Feel and Not Usual Talent winning Endeavour back early. Out wide, Cordyceps, Follow Me, Green Dispatch, and also Vinci pressing forward. Nearer the inside is Daring Fit along with Glorious Dragon racing quite handy when they settle into stride. Smiling Pride's got over to be in the first half, but he is three deep outside of Amazing Famous Warrior. Follow Me was up there early, but he elected to ease back. Now he's worse than midfield on the outside of winning Endeavour. Fourth last then, great treasure, not usual talent, ho-ho feel, an amazing Satchmo settled at the rear. Cordyceps eventually found the lead, striding to the 800, has it by a length and a half to two. Vinci second on the outside of Green Dispatch, followed then by Glorious Dragon outside of Daring Fit, Smiling Pride is three deep, no cover from Amazing Famous Warrior. Follow Me's tracking Smiling Pride into the race deeper out. Then winning Endeavour as they come up to the corner. Not usual talent. Great Treasure third last. Amazing Satchmo and Ho Ho Field. They swing for home and Cordyceps turns in front but Vinci's right there ready to pounce. Follow Me starting to get motivated down the middle and so too not usual talent then smiling pride winning endeavor great treasure the leader cordyceps going well not usual talent follow me smiling pride vinci's weakening out but cordyceps sylvester de souza won the first he'll win the last as well cordyceps from not usual talent famous warrior fourth winning endeavor or smiling pride follow me vinci great treasure were next from Ho Ho Feel, amazing, amazing Satchmo, daring fit, glorious dragon, and Green Dispatch, one of the last in.
cordyceps. Not usual talent at over 200 to 1. And famous warrior, 12, 6, 5. Smiling prior to decent enough effort considering he was deep. Follow me, Vinci. Out of the money. Cordyceps.